Hey everybody, Yuri here, and today we're going to take a quick look at Ravonic, the brand new technology in our Nexodyne microphones. Let's go! Believe it or not, the Nexodyne story starts all the way back in the 1960s with development of the SM58. It turns out that dynamic microphones are very sensitive to physical vibration, so if you want to hold one in your hands, there needs to be some solution to minimize the handling noise. Most commonly, a dynamic vocal mic will have an integrated shock mount that will try to physically isolate the capsule from the handle of the microphone. This is very similar to the external shock mounts that you see in studio microphones, but just integrated into the microphone itself. In the 1960s, Shure engineer Ernie Seeler came up with a novel way of reducing handling noise using a pneumatic shock mount, a sophisticated system of air volumes that worked like a piston together with the acoustics of the mic to minimize physical vibration. This pneumatic shock mount is proprietary to Shure microphones and involves hundreds of equations. We currently use it in the SM58, Beta 58A, and KSM8 vocal microphones. In 2016, we announced the KSM8, which added a second passive diaphragm and a reverse airflow system to create exceptional control of proximity effect. Fast forward to today, and the Nexodyne mic and Ravonic technology is the next evolution of the dynamic vocal mic. Unlike the KSM-8 dual dyne, which is a full moving coil system and an additional passive diaphragm, Ravonic is actually two complete moving coil systems, referred to as motors, built into one microphone body. These two motors are precisely matched and they respond identically, or you can say in phase, to external vibration and handling noise. However, the two motors are electrically reversed or out of phase. The output of one gets subtracted from the other. Think of it like a humbucker, but with acoustics. And the best part, there's no more physical or pneumatic shock mounts. But that's not all. These two motors are also sharing the same acoustic space, and as a result of that coupling and the electrical subtraction mentioned earlier, we have developed an exceptionally consistent cardioid or supercardioid polar pattern. This is what we refer to as acoustic signal processing in our literature, and is the result of years of effort by some of our brilliant acoustical engineers. So in summary, the Ravonic system is two motors that are mechanically in phase, electrically out of phase, and acoustically coupled to not only provide minimized mechanical or handling noise, but also to give you extraordinarily consistent polar response. Here's the Nexodyne lead acoustical engineer, Roger Grinip, to bring it all home. I figured out a kind of clever way to take that second transducer and not only use it for handling noise, but also use it to improve the polar pattern. They both couple to the same you know, handling noise that gets into them, and so we're canceling the handling noise out with it, but we're also doing something that's pretty unique is it literally subtracts from it output from the off axis. So it takes the polar pattern and pulls the polar pattern into a better cardioid or super cardioid. And there you have it. If you have any other questions about the Ravonic technology or Nexodyne microphones, please leave them in the comments and we will see you next time.